In this video, we are going to talk about how to create social logins for WordPress website like this. So that you and your visitors can easily create account on your WordPress website and login by just using social media website login details. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So here we are in our WordPress backend and in order to add social logins in this WordPress website so that you and your visitors can create an account or login, then the first thing we need to make sure is that your WordPress website is open for new registrations. So for that, we need to go to settings and here under membership, you need to make sure that anyone can register should be turned on. Without this option turned on, nobody can create an account on your WordPress website. So you need to make sure that this thing is on before you can proceed any further. Once that is done, let's go ahead and click on save changes. And now we will go to add a new plugin. We will go to plugins, then click on add new. And here we will search for next end. And this is the next end social login and register plugin that we are looking for. So let's go ahead and install this and then click on activate. And now once the plugin is installed, we can now go in the settings option and under the free version, we have option to add Facebook, Google and Twitter for social login. So let's go ahead and do the Facebook one. So we click on getting started and here are the step by step process by which you can easily go ahead and create your own app on Facebook and then use that to create login accounts on your WordPress website. So we start with step number one, where we need to go to developer account of Facebook. So we will open that in a new tab and here we need to go to create app. So we will click on this green button here. So for this example, we can choose create an app with combination of customer and business permissions and products. So we will choose this last option here and then click on next. And now we need to enter the basic details about this app and you can just fill up basic details about your app and then click on create app and here it will ask you to enter your Facebook login details. So once you enter your password, then click on submit and now it will ask you to add a product and the first option is Facebook login. So as the name suggests, this is going to help you create login sections. So we will go ahead and click on setup and we are doing this setup for web. So let's click here and here we will add our website URL and then click on save and then click on continue. After this, we need to go to this setting option here and here we have to enter a redirect URL. So this can be found easily in these steps here. So we will copy this URL from here and then just paste it here and then just click on save changes. And now we will go back in this setting option and then click on basic. So here we can see our app ID and app secret key. And below that we have the basic details. So let's go ahead and fill up the basic details here. So we will enter the app domain. And after that, we will enter the privacy policy page. And then we will enter the terms of service page from our website. Here we can add an app icon and we can choose app category, maybe just a business or an page. And here we have an option for app purpose. So we will choose yourself or for your business and then click on save changes. Now, once all that is done here, our app is right now in the development mode. So let's go ahead and turn that into live mode. So we will click on this switch and it's asking your permission to turn the app to live mode. So let's go ahead and do switch mode. And now the app is live. So let's get started. And here are some terms and conditions. And then we just submit our agreement. All right. So we are back in our app dashboard. We will now go back in settings and basic so that we can copy our app ID and app secret key. So let's go ahead and copy app ID from here. We will go to settings from here and here we will enter our app ID and we will reveal the app secret key from here and enter that in our WordPress backend and then click on save changes. So now the settings are saved. Let's go ahead and verify the settings. So let's click here. Now we are getting this permission prompt so that our app can fetch the data from Facebook login. So let's continue with this. And now our verification is done. We can now enable this Facebook social login. 
and now our Facebook social login is enabled. So let's go ahead and try that in a new window. Here we are in our WordPress login page and now we see we have a Facebook login button right here. So we can click on this and here we just need to enter our username and password and we will be back in our WordPress backend. So now we have Facebook login enabled for our WordPress website. In the same way, you can easily go ahead and configure Google as well as Twitter and all the steps are easily mentioned in the description here. So you can follow these steps and easily configure more social logins for your WordPress website depending upon your requirement. So this is how easy it is to get social logins on our WordPress website so that you and your visitors can easily create account and then login in your WordPress website. So you don't have to remember each time what email you have used and what's the password It's just going to use the same login details as in your Facebook or any other social media account that you add for login in your WordPress website. So if you have any questions regarding social login, then do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I will see you in the next video.